Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about how to solve three equations with three unknowns in linear algebra. Now, whenever you have three equations and three unknowns, it's going to be a long, I mean, pretty straightforward process. It just takes a little while. So if you have, for example, x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 10, 5x minus y minus 2z is equal to 7, and let's just say 3x minus 2y plus 5z is equal to 21. What you want to do in linear algebra is you want to put them in matrix form with the dividing line between both sides of the equation, and you write the coefficients to express what you're looking for. So 1, 3, 4, 10, 5, negative 1, negative 2, 7, 3, negative 2, 5, and 21. Now, the methods that are used are Gaussian elimination or Gauss-Jordan elimination. It all depends on what kind of form that you're looking for. Now, with row echelon form, that's where the Gaussian elimination comes in, where you use the order of oper the elementary row operations to get to what you want. Now, the more preferable version, the cleanest version, uh, method, if you will, is Gauss-Jordan elimination, where the goal is to get it in reduced row echelon form, where this will be where everything lists one in a kind of a diagonal staircase fashion and zeros everywhere. Now, I'm just going to call this A, B, and C as a generic fashion because what this indicates here is this one indicates what the X solution will be, and I'm just going to call this A just to be generic, and then the middle one will be the indicator for what the Y solution is going to be, and then for the one over here indicates what the Z solution is going to be. So. The Gauss-Jordan elimination, even though it takes a little more time, it does help you find out more cleanly what the x, y, and z definitively for the solution if it should have one. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a general strategy on how to solve three equations with three unknowns in linear algebra.